for sure. And then like just the brutal honesty thing. And then, so again, outside of the women thing, it taught me to be honest with myself. Am I really working hard towards what I want to do? One thing you guys always talked about was where, where like confidence comes from. And, and this is at least what I've gathered from it is confidence for me comes from mm. the fact that I'm actively working on being the best me. That's where I get my confidence yeah. from. It's like, so whatever you can say to me don't matter about whatever your opinion is. Cause I know I'm actively working on so many parts of my life, you know, and I'm willing to exactly right. And I'm willing to personally do things that I know a lot of people would find hard, not that they can't, but that they probably wouldn't that they, because they find it hard, you know, like I stopped masturbating. Yeah. I mean, that's what you have to do. You know, okay. I did that whole no fat. Right. How much have you stopped? In, okay. in maybe three years, How I've probably long? done Just... it maybe 15 times in three years. Wow. Yeah, wow, I went, I go, I, I go in, bro. I go, quite honest. I take cold showers every day okay. for three years. Like I'm, I try, I'm like really trying to work on this. Now the cold showers is, is to get your body going or just to stop masturbating because it's two different no, no, things. No, no, no. So those two different cold things. Cold shower right? is to rejuvenate. Right. Okay. So no, no, it's, it's to, it's me, it's to more rejuvenate than your that. body. Well, no, no. Well, it it helps mm. with that. You get the energy. It's good for your skin and your hair. But for me personally, it gives me balls because if I want to go talk to that girl at the bar and she rejects me, is that more uncomfortable than that cold shower? That's how I look ah, at it. Okay. Because it is not All fun right. to take the cold shower. And I, I do it. I, I, I have money. I can afford to take a nice, hot, warm shower. I'm choosing you have hot, to, hot water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm choosing yeah. to take the cold. How shower. often do you do the cold shower every day? Every day, sometimes twice. Do you do it every day? Sometimes twice. Oh, wow. For, that's for three incredible. years. See, now that's making me rethink. <laughs> I'm serious. Three and, years and the whole cold idea, showers. Cold oh, shower. And the idea is I'm just want to control my mind. Actually, recently, I just read this about the cold showers. So what I would do is I would go in there and I'd be, you know, and, I, and it was cold as fuck. But the idea is to go in there and take a warm shower and, like, calm your mind as if it's warm. So that's like the idea now. Oh, wow. OK, that takes a lot. That takes a lot of uh, time and training to do that. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting there, bro. I, I, I told myself because of your pocket, I'm going to do whatever it takes to be the best of me, period. OK, where and did I'm you find out that the cold shower? Where did you hear about the cold shower? So I'm, I'm very self-developmental, self-introspective. My YouTube, if you saw it, is like 50 percent how to improve as a person, you know. And it was okay. like it was like a TED talk. And my first thought when I saw it was like, who the fuck is taking cold showers on purpose? That's, like, that's my first thought. Like, that's crazy. But I'm willing to like, let me see, you know. And the guy was like, I'm telling you, it's life changing. I'm like, all right, well, let me give it a shot. You know, somebody tells me it could change your life. I'm going to give it a shot. You, yeah, you might as well try it. And that's um, and here's I've, what I've, I've learned. seen it in but, different. Yeah, go. For, no, you go ahead. No, I, I was going to say, and here's what I've learned. When I tell people this, I'm telling you, brother, it could change your life, right? I'm telling you firsthand, it could change your life. And they say, oh, I could never take a cold shower. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I'm like, that's where the disconnect is. You, can, you won't even try. I'm telling you, to, even if you try it and you say it's not for me, that's one thing. But you're like, oh, I, I can't even do yeah. that because I, I need my comfort. To me, I've, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I've done it. I've done the cold showers. I don't do them as consistently as you do. But I do them every once in a while. But yeah, at least you got to give it a shot. I mean, every day is uh, all respect to you. That is that is out there. But if I'm... it works for you, that's <laughs> part of your process. There's a lot of different ways to do it. There's a lot of different books to read about it, uh, about improving your life. I like what Tim Ellis does a lot. Who's Tim I Ellis? I think he does. Tim Ellis does. Um, so I forget how he started, but he's basically become a New York Times bestselling author and he's got a podcast now, but he liked figuring out how to do the most, how to get the most amount of, of uh, end product out of the least amount of time of effort, like mathematically. So he did this thing called the four hour body, which he learned what is the best diet that I can do? And what is the best exercise that I can do in the least amount of time to get me the biggest results? And so in his you guys book, talked before, about this on the podcast, We've talked about it a little bit. We don't talk like about it a ton, it. but okay. it's come up a little bit. But I, I was a big fan of what he does because I'm the same way because sometimes you're like, I feel like I'm busting my ass doing this and that. So he talks about cold showers in, in the 
as far as weight loss goes. He talks about ice baths and, and different things you can do. So what he figured out was Michael Phelps probably burned the most amount of calories, I think 10,000 calories a day or something like that. And he tried <laughs> to figure out why. And it, it's not just the swimming. It's the fact that he's, he's swimming because he's in a pool. And the pool temperature is, you know, your body temperature is 98 degrees, right? Right. Pool temperature is never 98 degrees, no matter what pool you swim in, right? I mean, right. The, the warmest pool is like 70 degrees. But the colder the pool is, the more your body has to, uh, in order to survive, has to heat you up, has to burn fat to and create like adrenaline to keep you warm through the right. cold water. So then he took that and figured out how to do it with ice baths. So ice baths gets your metabolism going because your body has to heat up to Makes keep sense. you from freezing to death, basically. And so that's one of those things like that. So there's a lot of reasons, but part of it is, yeah, it gets the blood flowing. It increases the adrenaline because your body has to increase adrenaline to keep you alive. You're shocking your body because your body's not supposed to be 50 degrees. Right. <laughs> it's you not know, supposed to be. <laughs> and that's the whole idea of it. So that's what there's a lot of different things like that. Yeah. But I'm a big fan of Tim Ellis doing that. Yeah. 